It's the closing moments of the men's Money in the Bank match. Matt Riddle and Sami Zayn are the last men standing. There's bodies all over the floor. There's ladders everywhere. Zayn attempts to land one final blow on Riddle, but he blocks and he nails Zayn with an RKO from the top of the ladder. Riddle is down, Zayn is down, but now Seth Rollins is back up. Rollins climbs the ladder, grabs the briefcase, and wins Money in the Bank. It's more heartbreak for Riddle. Here is your winner, Seth Rollins! Later that night, Riddle gives an interview for a digital exclusive. He's crestfallen. He's lost his tag team partner. He lost the chance at the Universal Championship. And now he's lost money in the bank. He says he needs to get back to basics. He needs to get back to his roots. He needs to almost start again. He doesn't know where or when that's going to be, but he needs to reset. We are in the middle of a match between Trick Williams and Wes Lee. Lee is in control. He's looking every bit the winner. And this win would be huge for him. But Carmelo Hayes runs down, slides in the ring, and breaks up the party. He starts beating away on Wesley, and Williams, of course, joins in as well. Lee stands no chance. It's two on one. Riddle is back. The Shaman is back to help Wesley. He's back where it all started for him in WWE. He's back on NXT. And he's here to save his brother in arms. Riddle cleans house. He wipes out Hayes and Williams. The NXT crowd is going crazy. Riddle stands defiant in the ring alongside Wesley. And he says, I haven't cleared this with my bro yet, but I'm sure he won't have a problem. I want you two versus us two at the Great American Bash. I'm here for a good time. Not a long time, bro. So while I'm here, I might as well help the brother out. Hayes and Williams accept, and just like that, Riddle has wasted no time getting back to his roots in NXT. We are live on USA for the Great American Bash. The match is insane. Wesley and Riddle are on fire. Hayes and Williams show out as well. But as it gets to the dying embers of the match, we see Riddle land a drop kick sending Hayes off the apron, and that opens the door for Lee and Riddle, and they hit a very familiar move on Williams. It's an emotional win for Lee, who's very much relating to Riddle right now in his situation. They celebrate with each other, and then Riddle stops the music, and he says to Lee that they're bros for life, and that he's more than capable of doing his own thing and standing on his own two feet, just like Riddle's trying to do right now. He says that he's proud of him and that he loves him. And Lee then says to Riddle, I can say the same thing about you. Now please, get back to your best and whoop Roman Reigns' ass. The journey continues and we're now on SmackDown and Riddle is preparing to let everyone know what his next move is. But before he can let us all know, he sees someone walk through the shop. Riddle says, hey, bro, you remind me of someone. I've got it. You remind me of Stallion Pete. You look just like him. And Butch replies, I have no idea what you're talking about. Riddle's super confused. He says, are you sure, bro? You look just like Stallion Pete. I was NXT Tag Team Champions with him. You don't, you don't even know him? Riddle says, all right, I'll, I'll take that as a no, bro, but I swear you look just like him. Butch runs up behind him and levels him, and he starts beating the hell out of Riddle. And he has to get taken off him by force by Seamus. Riddle is down, he's hurt, and he's as confused as ever. The next week on SmackDown, Sheamus is in a match and he has Butch at ringside to keep an eye on him. Sheamus is in control until he sees Riddle running down the ramp. Riddle and Butch come together in a wild brawl again. Sheamus leaves the ring to try and break them up, but he can't do it. He can't catch them, they're already gone. They fight off up the ramp and Sheamus slides back in the ring and boom! He gets nailed with a massive claymore and pinned by Drew McIntyre. 
Butch and Riddle are fighting all over the backstage area. Riddle eventually gets hold of him and throws Butch through a table and onto a pile of chairs and he says, I still think you look like Stallion Pete, but Stallion Pete would never act like this. So now I really don't know, but I want to fight you next week. It's time for the showdown and the next step in Riddle's journey back to the top. It's a tough, hard fought match and just as Riddle is in control, here comes Sheamus. He can't shake these guys. Sheamus slides in the ring, he looks for a bro kick, but Riddle evades and Butch is the one who gets nailed by Sheamus. Riddle tosses Sheamus to the outside of the ring and then stalks Butch and nails an RKO. Riddle picks up another win and gains even more momentum. As Riddle is celebrating the win though, we see Butch attack Sheamus. He lays him out with the bitter end and then he looks at Riddle and he says, Rosa waits for life and he walks off and Riddle is so excited he yells Stallion Pete I knew it I knew it was you all along bro now we're closing in on SummerSlam and Riddle wants to pick up even more momentum he knows he has more work to do he speaks to Adam Pearce and he says I want an opportunity to face a world champion at the biggest party of the summer I feel like I've been fighting back from all of the disappointment. I feel like I've got some momentum. And I know you agree, bro. Pierce does agree. And he says that he will see what he can do about an opponent for SummerSlam. But tonight, you're going to have to prove that you are really back. And later that night, Riddle is in another match proving himself again. And the crowd couldn't be any more behind him. He's stalking Theory deep in the match for an RKO. And as Theory gets to his feet, the lights go out. Finn Balor, the new leader of Judgment Day, has laid out Riddle. He looks down at him and he says, You wanted a former world champion. You got one. And Riddle, yet again, has come up against a stern roadblock. This is next level. Competition just got ramped up. The next couple of weeks are filled with two on one assaults on Riddle. He's really struggling to deal with the fact that he's lost his partner in Randy Orton, who of course is out with a back injury. Riddle is really feeling the heat and just a couple of days before SummerSlam, we're on SmackDown. Priest and Bala have challenged Riddle to a match ahead of their massive fight. But Riddle is fully prepared for the fight of his life by himself until unbelievably Pete Dunne is back he comes down and he stands next to a riddle the bros awaits are back in action at least for tonight the match is an instant classic riddle and Dunne haven't forgotten they're as good as ever. Bala looks for a coup de grace, but Riddle's able to evade, and Dunn is waiting. He nails Bala with a bitter end. Bala is down and out on the outside of the ring. Priest slides in, he's legal, and Riddle and Dunn combine again, and they pick up a massive win. The momentum of Riddle has continued with the huge assist from his former tag team partner, and he can now know that Pete Dunne has his back for his huge match with Balor at SummerSlam. Riddle has another chance to prove himself. It's deep into the classic battle. We've already seen Dunne and Priest brawling backstage. They've both been kicked out of the building and they are both out of the equation. Riddle's in trouble. Balor lands the shotgun drop kick. Riddle is in place for the devastating coup de grace. Balor leaps for it but he lands on Riddle, but Riddle is able to catch the leg and turn it into an ankle lock. Bala is now the one in trouble. He manages to escape. He gets some distance, but it doesn't matter. Boom, an RKO. Riddle has beaten Bala in a classic battle on the stage that is SummerSlam, but he wouldn't be done for the night. Roman Reigns has just defended his championship against Brock Lesnar. He even defeats Seth Rollins after an attempted cash-in. This man 
is out of control, and after the match, he's hanging around in typical style to let that sink in for everyone. But with little fanfare, no music, Riddle walks out. He gets in Roman Reigns' face and he says, I'm back, and I'm ready to face you again, bro. Reigns just shrugs it off and says, Don't you remember? You can't face me again. We had a deal. But I tell you what, I'm in a good mood. I just defended my title twice. I'll make an exception. But only if you can prove you really are worth my time again. But for now, you're nowhere near. The next stop is Clash at the Castle in Wales. It still feels as though the way that SummerSlam ended stifled a little bit of that momentum. So once again, he's asked for an opportunity to prove himself against another former champion. He goes right up to Drew McIntyre backstage and he says, Bro, you've been on a roll around here. And I have a lot of respect for you, so much so that I wanted to ask you, bro to bro, I want to fight you. Next week, to determine who goes to Wales to fight Roman at Clash at the Castle. What do you say, bro? McIntyre accepts the challenge on the spot. He says, I was a fighting champion and I'm sure as hell a fighting challenger. So next week, you're on. The winner faces Roman, but just because I respect you and I kind of like you, doesn't mean I won't destroy you. We are one week later, and we are deep into the match. It feels like this is all or nothing for Riddle. He's battled his way back into contention. He's fought so hard to get another chance. Riddle once again has the ankle lock locked in. McIntyre is screaming in pain, and he's on the verge of tapping out, but McIntyre is a beast. He flings Riddle off, utilizing that last bit of power that he has left. And just like the match with Balor, Riddle uses the separation to look for an RKO, but the Scotsman is too powerful. He powers out of the RKO. He lines up Riddle and nails him with a Claymore. Unbelievable. Riddle has fallen short again. The crowd boos viciously. They thought this was his moment. Hell, even Riddle thought this was his moment. But it isn't to be and Raw goes off the air with McIntyre and Reigns facing off. They will main event clash at the castle. Riddle is left pondering his future again. We arrive at clash at the castle and Riddle isn't even on the card. He's put all his energy into getting another crack at Reigns. He's fallen agonizingly short. He's watching the show unfold backstage on the monitor, wondering what could have been when he gets a very welcome surprise. Orton is here and Riddle couldn't be any more excited, but Orton calms him down. He says, hey, we need to focus. I've been watching you. And it's been heartbreaking to see you come so close. But I'm here to tell you, Riddle, it's not over. While I can't physically be in the ring to help you, my in-ring isn't the only part of my expertise. No one is more calculated and sharp in the mind than me. So I'm going to help you. I'm going to train you. And together, through you, we are going to get that world championship from Reigns. Riddle catches fire under the watch of Randy Orton over the next few months, winning massive matches along the way. We arrive at the Royal Rumble, and this really is the last chance for Riddle. He enters at number 13. It's a tall order. 
He works his way through the match, eliminating some big names and former champions along the way. He has some help from a debuting Wesley as well, but ultimately Wesley gets eliminated. He gets even more help from Pete Dunne, who somewhat sacrifices himself when the Usos entered into the Royal Rumble, throwing himself in front of Riddle to wear a super kick, only to be eliminated and for Riddle to survive. Clearly, the Usos were sent into this match by Roman Reigns to put a hit on Riddle's head. Orton is keeping a close eye backstage. He's not interfering. He's letting Riddle stand on his own two feet. And it comes down to three. This is the true test. Riddle is surrounded. Jey Uso is looking for a super kick to wipe out Riddle, but Riddle evades. Jey accidentally hits his brother, knocking him over the top rope and eliminating him. Riddle attempts a super kick out of spite, but Uso catches his leg, sets him up for a power bomb, but Riddle reverses and he lands a Hurricane Rana over the top rope, eliminating Jey Uso and winning the Royal Rumble. It's incredible effort. Riddle has done it. He's won the Rumble and he finally has his chance at the Tribal Chief once again. Right after the match, as Riddle is celebrating, Reigns runs into the ring and nails him with a spear. He picks up Riddle and he locks in the guillotine. As he's wrenching on Riddle, Orton runs down the ramp. He's yelling at Reigns to let him go, but Orton can't physically do anything. He's nowhere near capable of physically getting involved. Reigns lets go, but only to bait Orton. He says, what the hell are you gonna do, Orton? I'll put you in a wheelchair for life. All you can do is acknowledge me. Riddle and Orton know they have to ramp up the training heading into WrestleMania. Orton sets up a private training camp for him. He brings in Wesley and Pete Dunne to help. He builds a team around Riddle. He builds him a corner. Orton knows he can't physically help, but he can help in every single other way. We see leaked footage of this camp and it shows Riddle practicing spear counters with Wesley and Pete Dunne. Orton is honing Riddle in. He's making him even better and he's narrowing his focus squarely on Reigns. And the road to WrestleMania is paved with a difficult path for the King of Bros. But Reigns and the Bloodline are as dominant as ever. They were never going to let them get away with this. Reigns himself gets to Dunn. He wipes him out as a message. He gets to Lee. He wipes him out too. Reigns is uncompromising, but Riddle won't lay down. And his bros won't lay down either. So they challenge the Bloodline to a six-man tag team match on the Raw before WrestleMania. But it doesn't go anywhere near the way he wanted. The injuries sustained by Dunn and Lee previously have them eliminated very quickly. It's three on one. Bloodline versus Riddle. Riddle is dispatched. It's a total whitewash. It's utter dominance. We find ourselves on SmackDown, the final stop before WrestleMania Hollywood. And we see a disturbing image from backstage. It's Randy Orton, he's down. He's bloodied, he's battered. And even though he's had his back injury, it seems as though he is fully wiped out now. This has to be the work of Reigns and the Bloodline. Riddle storms out into the middle of the ring and demands that Reigns come out. He wants answers, but most of all, he wants to fight. And while Riddle is waiting for Reigns in the ring, we see the Usos descend on him. But Riddle, he's different now. He's on fire. He wipes out both of the Usos. He takes them both out with a chair and Riddle is having none of it. He gets back in the ring and he is screaming for Reigns. Reigns comes out, he gets in the ring. And Riddle is standing across from the man that he has spent months chasing. And now he finally has his chance in Hollywood. He finally gets his chance to unseat the head of the table. It's a true one-on-one -on -one war. Reigns, Riddle, almost 12 months in the making. Riddle has come so far, 
and Reigns is in firm control. Riddle is bloodied. He's battered. He's bruised just like his fallen comrades. But Riddle is gutsy. He's remembering everything he's been through. He fights back. He lands the Bro Derek. That doesn't work. He locks in the Bro Mission. That doesn't work. Reigns is fighting out of everything. And Reigns has Riddle down. He goes to the corner to look for a final nail in the coffin. He wants a spear. He sprints at Riddle, but just like he trained, he counters with an RKO. But Riddle has seen this before. He knows Reigns has kicked out of this before. He knows he needs more. He knows he needs to finish him off. He loads him onto the top rope. The crowd rise to their feet. They are bringing the house down, pleading Riddle to finish him. And Riddle loads him up and lands an avalanche RKO for the one, two, three. Riddle is the man who unseats the head of the table. Riddle does it for his bros. He does it for Lee. He does it for Stallion Pete. But most of all, he does it for Randy. The king of bros is the king of WWE.